Hey, what's up? I'm a douchebag, and welcome to my useless rants. Hello, everyone. I am Exekai Productions. Oh, wait. Scratch that. I am now Pico the Spicy Warlord. What do you think? A shit name to match a shit channel? I think so, too. No, I take that back. My channel isn't shit. It's shit painted gold. If you're accustomed to my main videos on my channel, you know... It's usually just cringeworthy, tasteless, forgettable stuff that might be worth a view or two. You know, the kind of videos where you'll see comments that say stuff like, LOLS, THAT WAS PRETTY CRINGE! CANCERNESS OFF THE CHARTS! Please hit the like if you agree. <laughs> However, today I have a very serious and quintessential topic to discuss. You know the possible war concerning the United States? The terrorism plaguing Europe? Or the skirmishes in Korea? All that pales in comparison to what I'm about to talk about today. I'm of course talking about Netflix and other streaming services. As a person who enjoys the luxury of today of being able to watch movies and TV shows at the click of a button, this could be a bit of a strange topic to rant about. Now Netflix, along with its competitors like Hulu, Amazon Prime, or Pornhub, they all offer great content to watch, like latest movies and shows that you may have missed. However, one distinct thing I find stupid about them, I'm particularly referring to Netflix here, are the original series, quote unquote. Why wouldn't I want to watch a whole season's worth of something I have to pay for when it could be just as easy to put on a regular channel for me to see for free? Maybe I'd be more upset about this if any of the original series were genuinely good. I mean, there are some that offer some actual good entertainment, and have some quality to them that you can watch them for. But then there are the less entertaining ones that remind you that, yes, you pay $7.99 for this network every month. Now let me just say that despite the issues I have with Netflix, along with all the other networks that have essentially the same issues as well, I can't really say I hate this and I actually want to die because of it. Netflix can be good when it wants to, but let me get into the real reason why I made this video. I want to talk about what spawned from the success of Netflix, YouTube Red. I'll just go ahead and say that YouTube Red is the most useless creation since Razor Scooters. Hey, you like seeing all your favorite big time YouTubers in hundreds of videos? Well now you can see them in significantly less entertaining videos with a higher budget that you need to pay for. So this is what I needed in my life. Where did I ever go wrong? YouTube Red's been around a while and I don't see it dying anytime soon. However, I do wish I would stop seeing it in my recommended feed every time I log on to the website. Hey, we saw you watched a video on Game Theory and liked a video by Dan and Phil. Well, now you can watch their new series and documentaries. Why couldn't this just be a regular video on their channels? Why do you have to make YouTube more of a corporation than it already is? You can have a free trial just to see how awful it is. Which only raises the question, why it can't just be a regular set of videos that you can watch for free? We already deal with your piece of shit ads. Oh! Is that the gimmick? You pay for it so you can see this content ad free? Well hell, I guess I too will jump on this bandwagon of paying for stuff I normally see for free just as soon as the content gets good. So that concludes my spiel on YouTube Red and Netflix and all that stuff. It was just as useless as all my other videos, so it shouldn't stand out that hard. And to all 23 people who see this stuff, I'll just assure you that I'll get back on track of producing my normal crap so you can see me torture myself and lose even more dignity than I already have. Although if you thought this was actually not that bad, and pretty good in fact, you know, just leave a like, maybe a comment, and I might do even more like this. Or if you hated it, you can just tell me to kill myself in the comments. I mean, that's my favorite part of making these videos. Au revoir, my peoples. I'm gonna go see the newest installment of Fuller House.